We mentioned at the top of the show the situation that's unfolding in Texas, this explosion at a, a chemical plant there. We're joined now on the phone by Chief Bob Royal from the Harris County Emergency Operations Center. Um, good morning to you. Thank you for being with us. I, I know the concern is that there could be additional explosions. Can you tell me what the situation there is and whether it's under control? Yes, I, I'd be glad to. This is Chief Bob Royal. Uh, I'm Assistant Chief of Emergency Operations for the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office. Thank you, sir. And uh, part of my command is the uh, Harris County Hazmat Team, and we are on location in Crosby. So uh, I'd kind of like to give you a little uh, update on what's going on. Yes. Uh, we first um, we were first engaged in this uh, wee hours of Tuesday morning, I think now. We lost a lot of sleep over the last eight days, so... They all kind of run together. But uh, anyways, um, I think it was Tuesday morning. I'd had to go back and look at my log. But uh, uh, we ended up um, evacuating or assisting in the evacuation of personnel that was in the plant. And um, at that time, we uh, had a conference call uh, with uh, uh, Arkema, their uh, corporate office, to find out exactly uh, what was going on in the plant. And from what I know, the planted lost power and uh, so they had stored these uh, temperature sensitive organic peroxides uh, inside uh, 18 wheeler box fans that uh, have refrigeration units on them to uh, keep those uh, those materials cold which they needed to do uh, since that time flood waters came up we've experienced uh, uh, some contamination in the fuel which shut down the refrigeration units on uh, three of those uh, 18 wheeler box fans. Uh, the other ones are still under refrigeration. Uh, or, or at this time, we we're, we're feel reasonably safe that they're okay. Uh, the ones that they lost refrigeration in, uh, do you have a question? Yeah, I do. I'm sorry, because time is short, but I, I wonder if it, okay. you said you feel that, that it's somewhat contained. Were there any significant injuries? Is there a danger to the public? Okay. This morning, uh, we hours of the morning, uh, somewhere around 1 a.m. this morning, our time, uh, we got a, a report. We've had a perimeter around this thing at one, uh, one and a half miles. Uh, if the area is evacuated, it's isolated. It's still under flood waters. Uh, and we had a report of uh, uh, finally one of the trailers catching on fire. Hmm. Uh, there's been a series of, of small uh, pops or explosions. When that took place, uh, we had smoke issuing from that. We, some of our law enforcement officers that were uh, holding the perimeter were exposed to the smoke and they've been, we have, uh, uh, Chief, we had 16 law enforcement officers, uh, 15, excuse me, 15 law enforcement officers uh, being observed at a local hospital and we also have mm. five EMS providers that were on scene just for precautionary measures. All right. Um, Bob, Bob, yes. thank you for the update, yes. sir. Do keep us posted if you can. Bob, we're there with the Harris County Emergency uh, Emergency Center with an update. Yeah, so I mean, you can just hear it in their voices, and and think of all of the first responders who have been under such tremendous pressure. We'll keep our eye on that. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.